The initial DIY project in today's selection was meticulously executed. First, the individual constructed a gear cutting machine, followed by the assembly of a hand drill. This dedicated DIY enthusiast crafted all the components from scratch, not only emphasizing functionality but also paying great attention to aesthetics by skillfully combining aluminum with ebony. The resulting drill reminiscent of old pistols is not only visually striking but, according to the DIY creator, also remarkably comfortable to use. Interestingly, this isn't the first venture into drill projects for the DIYer. They recently garnered over one and a half million views and potential buyers for a microelectric drill, created using a small motor from a camera, as evidenced by the comments section. The utilization of a basic plumbing tool to create a potent air gun left viewers astonished. This PCP version necessitating a pre-filled compressed air cylinder for firing is recognized for its reliability, especially when compared to break-action rifles. It finds applications not only in recreational shooting but also in hunting, due to its quiet operation. The cell-made model, functioning akin to a crossbow and utilizing arrows, has unique features Yet the creator lacks a substantial fan base. Suggestions arise for the construction of something more substantial and powerful, prompting speculation about future endeavors. The third craftsman in today's feature is known for creating a mix of practical and unconventional projects. On his channel, viewers are invited to decide where the latest creation falls on this spectrum. Providing some context, since 1950, the global car population has doubled roughly every 10 years, leading to a continuous expansion of available car parts for DIY projects. With cars being retired due to age, accidents, or weathering, DIY enthusiasts have a wealth of materials at their disposal. Many have crafted impressive creations, and in this instance, after 40 hours of labor, old truck rims have been transformed into a wood stove complete with built-in ventilation, heat-resistant glass, and ash removal functionality. A craftsman has accomplished the impressive feat of constructing a 20-foot mini ground-effect vehicle, capable of lifting a person. According to the creator, this engineering marvel is part of a larger project, resembling the process of building a model but with added simplicity. The homemade vehicle successfully passed various tests, bringing joy to its viewers. Optimistic comments suggest that the project could inspire others to launch similar initiatives on platforms like Kickstarter. Notably, one of the sponsors for this endeavor is Flying Ships, a company specializing in green ground effect vehicles, known to be 30 to 50% more efficient than conventional aircraft of similar size. Speculation arises about whether the company has gleaned ideas from this venture or if it's part of a strategic marketing move. Get ready to raise the temperature on the screen as we introduce a creative pyromaniac and his homemade flamethrower. This marks his second model, and it's notably larger than the first. With around 200 hours invested in its creation, including filming and editing, the approximately $500 expense hopefully didn't strain his budget. With proper adjustments, these DIY flamethrowers can reach distances of up to 10 meters. While showcasing his invention, the inventor welcomes advice for potential upgrades, promising viewers more fiery videos in the future.
A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, BB-8s made their appearance in the Star Wars universe, replacing the iconic R2, D2. BB-8, also an astromech droid, boasts increased maneuverability with its round body, making it a more accessible DIY project. The expert in the video took a unique approach, avoiding the use of a 3D printer or CNC milling machines, resulting in a budget-friendly creation costing only $120. This is significantly less than many commercially available BB-8 toy models. The scale of the robot matches the one-to-one -one scale, and it's controllable directly from a smartphone. Generously, the project's author shared a comprehensive instruction manual on Instructables.com, providing enthusiasts with a detailed guide. In a playful twist, the narrative continues in later episodes, demonstrating how to craft an Iron Man suit using items from the dollar store. It's intriguing to note that the homemade flamethrower has garnered fewer views than the creator's homemade sander. The 12-minute video showcasing the detailed assembly process of the sander, along with thorough testing, seems to have captured more attention, drawing numerous views and positive comments. The question arises, what do you think might be the reason behind this difference in viewership? Sometimes, seemingly unsuccessful homemade projects can become a launchpad for something even more impressive. Take, for instance, a craftsman creating a detail for a costume inspired by the Halo universe, a project he never finished. However, the effort didn't go to waste, it transformed into homemade stilts, offering a unique DIY opportunity for anyone. All the necessary information, including materials and instructions, is available on Instructables.com. With a budget ranging from $100 to $200, each stilt weighs 8 pounds and has been tested by a 200-pound volunteer. The first person to build and share a video will receive a bonus, an annual premium subscription to the DIY account. Despite a few stumbles along Orchard Street, this project showcases the silver lining in DIY experimentation. Aerating your lawn is crucial for moisture and nutrient absorption, which explains the popularity of this project. Initially resembling a medieval weapon, it swiftly transforms into an aerator. The creator asserts that this aerator is not only cost-effective but also simple, although its somewhat hefty appearance could pose challenges. Given the recommendation to aerate lawns three or four times during the warm season, the weight may be a factor to consider for ease of use. The creator proudly states, I built a bladeless drone that I think is one of the safest in the world. This homemade device features four legs made of ducts, with a fifth, shorter leg functioning as a parachute, constructed from balsa wood and carbon fiber. All electronics were sourced online, with a DJI flight controller at the core. The design proved so successful that the author obtained a patent for the invention. However, there are noted drawbacks, with one commenter highlighting the noise as making the drone 10 times scarier than usual. Despite this, bladeless drones are gaining popularity, with this particular creation even earning recognition in the prestigious Red Dot Award design competition. Enter the mechanical version of Frankenstein's monster, crafted by the same skilled artisan who turned truck rims into a stove. This creation seamlessly melds the front part of a Kawasaki ZX-9 motorcycle with the rear part of a Yamaha Raptor 668 TV. At its core is a 1983 Suzuki GR650 engine, providing the power to this unique hybrid. The craftsman shares that the entire project took approximately two months to complete, with everything functioning precisely as intended. His creativity and efficiency command respect, especially considering that similar projects often span several years. For instance, the renowned Kawasaki W1R took seven years to build.
Indulging in a hot tub can be a luxurious experience, but the cost often exceeds $3,000, not to mention the challenges of transportation and installation. A crafty solution? Build your own, as demonstrated by this inventive craftsman aiming to delight his family. The structure is ingeniously crafted around a plastic tank, aesthetically finished with wood. What sets it apart is the wood stove heating system, offering the possibility of enjoying a barbecue simultaneously. The stove adds a touch of spectacle with its puffs of smoke, making the location unmistakable to friends. The craftsman proudly shares, My family enjoyed their first hot tub under the December stars last weekend, and it was totally worth it.